All right, YouTube. So today video, man. Um, this is gonna be about if you got CP, CP real yard or uh, uh oh. If you got a CP uh, real Canadian Pacific real yard, where you at? This is how you get to their website to use their app. Their app is online. Um, how do you make it? Hold on. How do, how do I get it home? It's Canadian Pacific. HTTP external blah 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 launch pad security log info info blah 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 that's it right there let me see if I can um so if I go to this it'll bring me to come on hurry up now it'll bring me to the screen right here now when you put your stuff in um of course you gotta be registered already so if you already registered for this rail yard, then you just put your info in, which I, I'm just going to put one in right now. Alright. Now I put my um my password in, and then I put my, um, I put my password in, and then I put my, uh, my login in, my drive ID. It'll bring you to this page right here. See, still the same website. Now right here it say now you do this if you got a load coming in or load coming out. I'm I'm not there, but I'm just showing you guys this 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 um the app just in case you find yourself doing this. If I was to, if I was to like come in with a chassis to get a load to bring it out, or if I was Bob telling in, I'll press load out. The container ID number, which is whatever it's gonna be. And then I um, put in pickup number. If you got your own chassis, don't put it in there because it's gonna mess up. The, it's gonna mess up the system, man. You don't want them problems. Believe me, man. You got enough to deal with already by yourself. So if you put your number in here, oh, let me make, let me make up a number. Hold on. In fact, let me. I press continue. Now because I put a dummy number in there, it'll say C C M A U blah 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 blah. Pick on number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. It'll say unit not found or not in the yard. Now that lets you know if the unit there, so it'll save you some time. But if you don't know how to do it, you just cancel. Go back to it right here. Or if you take it to load out, if you bring an empty in or load in, load out or empty out, same rules apply. You uh, check the equipment style to see if it got storage on it. I'll get a container, check a booking, and get a container, the container number right there. So this is kind of a brief detail about how to use the CP uh, app. Now, I might do a more detailed um, version of it in the future, but as of right now, this kind of get you started. So, yeah, go to that external CPR.ca slash whatever, whatever, whatever. It'll bring to that home screen after you already registered with the uh, real yard. You got to register first before you're able to use this. Or they can have you register online, then you can start using it. But either way, make sure you register first. Either way, go YouTube. Hope this video is helpful. Like I said, use all the tools available, man. If you got the tools, use them. This is for this is for Canadian Pacific, not Canadian National. It's the difference. So Canadian Pacific, if you got them in your in your neighborhood, your neck of the woods, use this app. It's not even an app; it's actually a website. You can download it to your home screen and make it an app. But they stuff, just go online on your phone and just log in and check the stuff. And then if it's good to go, <clears throat> if, your, if your box is in there, it'll give you a barcode. And when you give you a barcode, you take your whole phone and you scan it. Like, just like on the NS app I did, I showed. You take your whole phone, you put it in there with a the little barcode. It'll give you like a, a, a QR code, a QRC code, or whatever kind of code that is. <coughs> uh, excuse me. And then you'll uh, put it in there and then it'll... it'll, it'll let you know if you're good to go. Because actually, once you put the number in here, it lets you know if it's storage, if it's paid, if, uh, if the box ain't there, if it's there. Like I showed you, I put a dummy number in there and it said the box wasn't there. That lets you know that it'll let you know where it's at before you go in there. So when you put up to the kiosk, put your phone in there, keep on riding, man. One less problem to worry about. But anyway, all right, YouTube. Hope this video is helpful. See you guys next video. Peace.